everyone and welcome to Vlogmas 2021. We are headed off to do some food and a little bit of Christmas shopping over in John Lewis and Waitrose. So let's just get straight into it. I'm here at Waitrose Canary Wharf. We're actually gonna head into the John Lewis section first, which is basically the non-grocery section. These little reindeers are really cute. John Lewis always have really good decorations. I like this kind of neutral theme they've got going on here. Look at these mad things. I'm trying not to touch anything, by the way, guys. I really want to pick things up and show them to you, but yeah, I think it's better if I don't. <laughs> oh wow, these have just caught my eye straight away. These lovely white baubles, they are so nice. And then you have these glass ones there as well. These will actually go so nice on my tree. <laughs> I actually don't really need any more baubles, but I mean, these are really pretty, aren't they? Oh, I'm really tempted by these ones with the fluff just because I've got nothing like that on my tree already. Wow, look at that. I really like these ones as well then with the kind of tinfoil effect inside. That is so nice. These ones are so pretty too, but guys, look at the prices, right? It's about seven quid a bauble. So if I was to buy a few of those, like you quite easily rack up loads, don't you? I actually love these white bears, but you know what? I got one of these for my boyfriend for his tree about two years ago and it just didn't last very well. So as much as I think the polar bears are super cute, I don't know, it just didn't really last well, so it kind of puts me off buying it, especially when they're, you know, not cheap. Those bears are like eight quid. They've also got unicorns as well. I don't know, I mean, that's cool, but it doesn't really go with the Christmas theme as well, I don't think. <laughs> What's this? Is that a hedgehog? Yeah, I think that's a hedgehog. You can see they've just got a few dotted about on this tree. If you go to the John Lewis that's actually in central London, like on Oxford Street, they usually have proper big displays of all the different themes of decorations and stuff. Over here, they've got quite a colorful one that they have actually fully decorated. But like I say, most of the trees around are actually a bit bare in this store. Uh, so if you do want to go see like the full kind of colors on display, then definitely recommend the one on on Oxford Street, that one's so good. Oh, I like these ones. See this kind of gold and red? That is so pretty, isn't it? It's really striking. They've got some berries and stuff too. <laughs> There's definitely like a bird theme going on at the moment. Oh, the sled's so cute as well. They've got some big sets then of baubles in each of the different themes. This one's really nice actually in that sort of like pink and, I don't know, would you call that neutral? It's kind of pink and copper really. This is really nice as well. Love me a Christmas cracker. <laughs> These ones are really nice. I would love one day to actually host Christmas myself and just do a really extravagant table decoration. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just something I've always wanted to do. Maybe eventually when I ever like have a house, you know? I feel like hosting Christmas in a flat in London is just not gonna be the same. Oh, they actually have a massive section of crackers over here as well. So yeah, they're definitely catering for all the different themes that people may have at their dinner table. Looks like they're all, oh wait, no, these ones are more expensive. These fancy crackers. Oh, it's twice as many, okay. <laughs> I thought they might have like extra fancy things inside. This one must do, right? Cause this one's only 12 crackers and that's 20 pounds. And that's 12 crackers for 15 pounds. Oh, and then they have look, game crackers. And that's 20 pounds just for eight. <gasps> Super fancy crackers. <laughs> I really like these snow globes and I actually don't have a snow globe. So I'm kind of tempted by these. I actually really like the polar bear one with the penguins on his back. That's super cute, isn't it? Oh, but then this one's cute as well. Oh, I don't know. I think the white one would probably go with my flat a bit better and the kind of colors that I have on my tree and stuff. So the polar bear one is 20 pounds and then the snowman one is 18 pounds. They've got these really cute kind of, I guess it's like a garland, right? But it's all different colors with twigs and stuff. I don't know, I think that's really nice actually. All right guys, the controversial question, pop your answer in the comments down below. Do you put tinsel on your Christmas tree? I love tinsel, love the nostalgia of it, but it doesn't go on my Christmas tree anymore, I'm afraid. <laughs> How fab are these baubles? Oh my God, I love them. They look so good. I don't even know if it's picking up on camera how striking these are in person, but they are so, so nice. Well, that is an extravagant tree topper. It's 
beautiful though. They've got a balloon Christmas tree. I've never seen anything like that before. That's gas, isn't it? You'd be getting a heart attack though, wouldn't you, on Christmas day, like when these things start just popping off. <laughs> oh, these are place cards. That is so nice. That is really nice. Oh, I want to get it, even though I have absolutely no reason to have this because I don't host Christmas. <laughs> Isn't it so nice though? They're only eight pounds as well, which is actually quite a bargain. For John Lewis too. Oh, I really like them. But then look, that one's kind of broken already. Like it's still in the box. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Oh, they do a little glass bobble version too. But wait, are they round? Will they stand up? I don't understand. How are they supposed to stand up if they're, I think, are they flat at the bottom? I don't know, but these ones over here are struggling. All right, we've already made it to the chocolates and we haven't even gone down to the grocery section, but these are my favorite chocolates. They actually do, oh, here they are. They do truffles. Honestly, these truffles are the best truffles ever. So these are the caramel ones, but my favorite are the salted caramel ones. But I'm sure these ones are also amazing. <laughs> oh, they've got gingerbread flavor as well. Those green ones then are gin ones too. And then look, they've got these tonic water Christmas cracker packet things. I don't know. It'd be more exciting if it was actually alcohol, right? This is just the tonic. Oh, they actually do give you the gin. Okay, that's so much better. <laughs> Some staples here as well, Quality Street, but you can get personalized Quality Street if you go to the one on Oxford Street. And then they've got their Panettone, love Panettone. So they've got some salted caramel, They've got chocolate orange. And then this one over here is made with Irish cream liqueur. Oh, but that's delightful. They've got some cute Christmas plates and mugs and also some glasses. I like this one. Look, I'm dreaming of a wine at Christmas. Jingle bells. Oh, <laughs> gin <-gle> bells. <laughs> And these glasses are so pretty as well. So the glasses are a fiver and then these glasses are six pounds. I'm gonna head on down to the food section. I love Waitrose Christmas food. They do some amazing, amazing food. Oh, spotted some Baileys already. Let me know, do you have Baileys at Christmas time? We have Baileys every single Christmas day. I'll have a Baileys in the morning with ice. <laughs> And then usually at some point during the day, I'll also have a Bailey's coffee. So yeah, we love Bailey's in our house. We'll go through a couple of bottles of these every Christmas. I do like some of the flavors actually, but for me, traditional Bailey's is where it's at. Well, I figured we would start with savory, then we can move on to sweet. And what better place to start than in the cheese section? So obviously they'll have a good cheese selection all year round, but they definitely bring out some lovely extra ones for Christmas. So all these ones are Christmas specials. You can see the Christmas packaging on there. So we've got truffle, coastal cheddar, we've got cheese, nougat, we've got choco, mocha, Wensleydale. Oh, that sounds great actually. Cheddar with caramelized onion, chutney. Oh wow, that is right up my street. I just love a traditional cheddar. I also love a Wensleydale though, especially with cranberry and orange. Oh, these sound amazing. Oh look, they do a little one as well. That's perfect. Cause I always feel, you know, I don't want to be getting a big massive hunk of cheese when I just live by myself. Oftentimes I'll just get it and you know, I'll have it up at my boyfriend's or something and we'll have it together. But I still like to have some for my flat as well, you know? I might actually get this little one, the cheddar with caramelized onion and balsamic vinegar. Cause that is honestly right up my street. This sounds absolutely fabulous. A cheddar and emmental souffle. That actually sounds so good. And then over here, we've got just a bacon camembert, but it has cranberry, sour cherry, and nuts on it. They also do a version then with sweet chili. Then look down here, we've got some French brie, but right beside it, what's this? Cheddar snowman. That's so cute. You can usually get some really good deals then if you go for the selection. So you can see they've got cheese board favorites there. And yeah, they're always like really good prices. So that little one's only 350 there where you get to try the three cheeses. And then the sixth selection is seven quid. Like that's really good. Right, this is probably one of my biggest weaknesses around Christmas and it is brandy butter, brandy cream. This is actually sat right above the cheese. Um, I don't know that you'd necessarily have that with cheese. Would anybody do that? But uh, I love brandy butter, but 
if you're being extra indulgent, they have this extra thick brandy and champagne cream. Now, the one I've actually tried already this year is this extra thick brandy cream. It was absolutely delightful. I'll show you a little bit later on what we had it on because we had it on one of my favorite Waitrose snacks as well. So, and then here you've got a big one of the brandy sauce. Over here then, look, they've got an extra thick one with salt, it's a salted caramel flavor and rum. What? Extra thick clementine and Cointreau. <gasps> so, so luxurious. And then they've got a Bailey's extra thick cream as well. Oh my God, I'm in heaven. Let's have a little look at their party snacks. Again, this is one of my favorite sections. Me and my sister will always go and pick up some good party snack boxes. We normally go to M&S because unfortunately they don't have Waitrose in Ireland, so sad. But uh, they kind of do some similar stuff. But so here we've got vegetable pies, sweet potato katsu bites, some red onion baji. Like some of these stuff I think they just rebrand for Christmas, but things like oh, brie and cranberry tart. I feel like this is exactly like the ones that we had from M&S and we couldn't find them last year. And they were one of the best things I've ever tasted. We had them not last year, the year before. Breaded stuffed olives. I've never tried that before. They've got halloumi fries, mac and cheese cups. Again, M&S do something similar and it was really nice, but I definitely want to try the waiters one. And look, they've got cheese and onion souffles, little ones. Yeah, this is kind of more what I'm likely to get and try. I'll just wait until I have someone coming over to visit me <laughs> as any excuse to get some party snacks in. You can't really go wrong with a volivon, <laughs> little volivons. And what else have you got? Oh, mini New Yorker style pastrami toasties. <gasps> Don't they sound delightful? Oh, and look, beef in Yorkshire pudding. Oh, honestly, party food is one of my favorite things about Christmas. Now oh, these are beef and mushroom croquettes, ham and cheese croquettes. Oh, I'm actually spoiled for choice. Over here then they've got the real hearty Christmas food. So they've got honey roast ham, bacon glaze ham. What else have we got? Wilshire cured bone in ham. Lots of choices for your ham. Um, what else have they got up here then? This is all ham. Oh my God, there's so many different types. Orange and honey roast. Just honey roast. <laughs> Loads to choose from there. Oh, and then they've got pate. Oh. I feel like pate is one of those marmite type things, right? Either people love it or hate it. I absolutely love it. They've got a special Christmas one up there. It is smoked salmon pate and smoked mackerel pate. Right, these boxes were the magic boxes last year. They had really good stuff in these boxes. I think they normally go on offer at some stage, but obviously maybe it would have been the start of December. They're not on offer just yet. But I remember last year when I got them, they were always on a little sort of two, like three for two offer or something like that, or two for a certain price kind of thing. Uh, so they have these, oh dear, this is going to be uh, me butchering Italian, I think. Riccarielli. This is the soft, chewy, Tuscan inspired biscuit made with apricot kernels and almonds. That sounds really nice, but this, this is what I had the other night. It is the Stalin slices. Now, I'm not the biggest kind of Christmas cake pudding fan. I like some types of it, but this is extra special. So this has fruit, it has glacé cherries, marzipan, and it's topped with rum butter and a sweet dusting. Now imagine taking that and then topping all of that goodness with brandy cream, the thick one that I showed you. That's exactly what I did. And it was a very, very indulgent, but it was absolutely delicious. And uh, that combination came courtesy of my boyfriend, by the way. <laughs> they've got a good selection of Christmas pudding then as well. Over here, they've got fig, honey, and walnut. Up here is sherry balsamic vinegar. Oh, that's an interesting one. Over here then, they've got this jeweled orange cake. Wow. And over here is a richly fruited Christmas cake. They've definitely got a few different Christmas cake options as well. Oh, there's a festive chocolate tray bake. That's probably more like something my family would get. Ah, so these are the little ones I got last year, the Stalin Bites. So now they've got the Stalin Bites and the Stalin slices which are the ones I just showed you. So they're basically just a bigger version but I don't know what it was. Sometimes size affects taste, do you know what I mean? <laughs> and then they actually just have the whole thing, you know, a Stalin. Lots more choices here as well, more panettone, 
Oh, there's just so much good stuff out for Christmas here. Ooh, they've got a lovely little selection then of fudge and flavoured marshmallows and then some nuts and stuff as well. And they've also got some Turkish delight. Love a Turkish delight. Oh, and what's this? Chocolate, books, fizz, candles. Irresistibly indulgent, filled with velvety. I guess they're not really candles, right? <laughs> just shaped like candles, but they're actually food. Oh, honeycomb. I do love some honeycomb. My dad makes really nice honeycomb at home as well. Chocolate spoon stirs. I mean, I don't really get these, right? Because I've used them before, but then I just don't understand. Like, because you stir things with it and then they just melt, right? Like, <laughs> is it me or is it just not, not a very good idea? Oh, yummy caramelized nuts with a hint of salt. I bet that's delicious. You've got this little cute Santa's treat box. There's loads more chocolates as well. Honestly, I'd be here all day if I went through everything, but I'm just so excited about it all. Ooh, this is my advent calendar, although I don't have it today because I left it at my boyfriend's, but I'll get it tomorrow. It's actually his birthday tomorrow, but yeah, I'm gonna have his tomorrow and I will get this off him. An absolute staple, a Cadbury's selection box. Is it even Christmas if you've not had a Cadbury's selection box? Well, I guess if you're not from, I don't know, the UK or Ireland, Maybe that's not a thing for you, but I literally have not had a single Christmas without a Cadbury selection box. They've got an awesome selection of mince pies as well. Again, lots of different options. They've even got some mini ones. They've got some almond flavored ones. And they've got like their essential ones, which are obviously a bit cheaper. And then they have their all butter ones down there. So I think these are maybe the fanciest ones. <laughs> and they are three pounds. That's not too bad at all. I love a good tin of biscuits around Christmas. I really like Fox's. I actually really like the M&S biscuits as well. Um, I don't think I've ever had a box of Waitrose biscuits, but I have had their shortbread and their shortbread is amazing. They've also got some walkers here. But yeah, I think I know Fox's is maybe a go-to for us. I love just having the selection, you know, so you can try a few different types of biscuits with your tea. <laughs> They've got a couple of little festive cupcakes in their bakery section. It's kind of later on, so I guess they might not have everything here. Oh, they do have an orange and cranberry Danish. I think that's quite festive too. Oh, and some mince pies. Okay, you know, so they do have a couple of festive selections in the bakery section as well. Oh, that's a pasta donata, so not festive, but delicious. Savory twist. These are massive massive weakness for me as well i love cheese twists but these have a few different types of flavors got some poppy seed ones olive onion chive etc and then look they've got these little all butter volivant cases oh and then you just pop your own little filling in oh that's cool they've got these lovely shortbread tins here as well i don't know it's very fornham and mason-esque that's a thing uh yeah it does remind me of the kind of really fancy tins and stuff they do there but yeah that's really nice oh look they've got a nutcracker one that's cool this is really nice as well so this is a two pence piece but it's actually a tin and it's got biscotti in it they've got the cabri yule logs they've got this triple chocolate one and oh it, that's also triple chocolate it's just upside down <laughs> uh, and then they've got this reindeer cake but i haven't seen a waitrose yule log that's interesting. Now, it is kind of hard sometimes to find stuff because they will just dot it around all over the place, but I definitely would have thought they would have done their own. I know M&S does their own and that's a really good one. So I've just popped over to have a little look at the champagne. <laughs> They've got a really good selection here. They've actually got a little wine bar in this Waitrose as well. So you can see that over there. Oh my God, the absolute size of those bottles. What? <laughs> it's Bollinger as well. <laughs> 525 pounds for that one 750 pounds what the actual like who is ever gonna buy that is that just there for show have you ever seen anyone walk out of a supermarket with one of those that's mad so this is my favorite prosecco it is so so nice it's only 10 quid but it's worth the extra couple of pound over you know some of the cheaper ones you can get in my opinion because it's so so nice so if you ever just want a nice bottle of prosecco you're celebrating something you get this one they also do it in a magnum you know so we've got a lot to celebrate see look check that out there's my favorite prosecco the magnum of it is only 16 quid that is such a bargain I actually kind of want to get it, but that's incredibly impractical for me to get home. They've got their mulled wine. I always find the mulled wine is quite reasonable as well. It's only 5 50 And I know you can probably make it nicer if you get your own wine and do it all, but 
a lot of hassle, isn't it? They've got a really nice selection of Christmas cards as well. So yeah, they've also got charity cards too. So I think most of these actually are charity cards, which is really good. I always try and get some charity cards. Oftentimes, like they might only be an extra 50p or something, but it's good to know, like as you're giving everybody a card for Christmas, you're also helping out a charity. But yeah, I think all of these actually are charity cards. That's really good. Oh no, I was gonna check out the Christmas sandwiches, but the shelves have definitely been cleared. That's grand, do you know what we'll do? We'll come back one lunchtime and I'll try the Christmas sandwiches. I'd actually like to do a little comparison. We'll get some of the best Christmas sandwiches and we can do a little taste test across them all. And find out in 2021, who's doing the best Christmas sandwich? So all of their wrapping paper appears to be recyclable, which is really good. It's mad to think that so much wrapping paper is not recyclable. You think of the amount you go through as well at Christmas, but yeah, they've got some nice designs. They're all very kind of similar themes. Like I feel like you could get a few different ones and mix. Actually, no, it's just that they're the same. <laughs> I was like, oh, they're very like similar themes. No, they're the same, 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 same. <laughs> Uh, they do have a few others down here but yeah it's not a massive selection is it so outside directly opposite waitrose they've actually got an ice rink set up this year i'm sure this is the first year they've done this here i definitely don't remember the last two years i've been here but uh it's really nice as well because like they've got all these trees and everything lit up outside and of course they're banging out the christmas tunes inside how do you feel about ice skating i love the idea of ice skating but i always find when i do it i get tired after about 10 minutes and then i'm just over it you know i'm always paranoid about falling i've never fallen when i've done ice skating uh, and so that makes me really paranoid that if i do fall like something devastating is going to happen to me <laughs> so we've just come out to the front of the canary wharf Cabot Square entrance. This is kind of like the iconic view of the three really tall Canary Wharf buildings. But also look, they've got loads of cool Christmas lights outside. They've got these big, huge trees covered in lights all the way around the square as well. I am back home and I'm already in Christmas pajamas. First day wearing the Christmas pajamas. I always save them till December. And I've made myself a hot chocolate in a Christmas mug. I actually got this one from Asda. It's a Winnie the Pooh one, it's so cute. And it's Butler's hot chocolate. I always get Butler's hot chocolate, it's so good. And I've got Gary Jelly peppermint bark. I honestly feel like I just couldn't be more Christmassy right now. I've even got a Christmas movie on, <laughs> on Amazon Prime. So yeah, I'm just feeling very cozy, very festive. And uh, I'm just gonna have Pumba snuggle up with me and enjoy the rest of the evening. So I'm gonna leave this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Welcome to Vlogmas 2021. I hope you enjoy. I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna go this year because I've also uploaded travel stuff, but my plan is basically to have a vlog up every day one way or the other. So you might get a Vlogmas style vlog like this, or you might get a travel vlog. It just depends on whatever I have ready and edited to go up, so. There we go. So it's goodbye from me, goodbye from Humba, and uh, yeah, I'm so excited Vlogmas has started. See you all tomorrow. Bye.